Welcome to my channel guys. I'm going to be reviewing the Studio Cuts DPL-003 wig that I received from Glam21 on Amazon. Plus, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I make it look like a bust down 30 inch install, even though there's minimal lace on this wig. Before we even get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and tap that notification bell so you're updated whenever I post new videos. Let's get right into this. All right, y'all. So here is the wig. The color that I got was a 1B per usual. I think next time I'm going to try a 1 because jet black is starting to look really, really really cute to me I don't know what it is but that's what it's giving I don't know as you can see from the inside the lace is extremely small almost non-existent on the side there's combs right near the front and at the back as well as adjustable straps I did go ahead and pluck the part here's the before and here's the after for the knots I use my favorite tinted foundation it's one shade darker and honestly that's the key to any lace blending properly with your skin my cap is also a bit darker than usual. It didn't look bad once I put the wig on, and it was honestly less work than having to tint one of my lighter caps. I'm obsessed with the waviness of this hair. Usually, I don't go for these types of textures, but you know what? We gotta step out of our comfort zone every once in a while. For the meltdown, I'm using the regular Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray, and I'm just gonna section out my baby hairs and then pin those back. I go in with the spray adhesive all around the perimeter and blow dry it until it's almost dry. Then I go in with my elastic band to secure it and melt everything in place. Now once that's all melted, I'm going in with my scissors to cut the lace, or you can use a razor if that works better for you. I found that I usually cut myself whenever I use razors. Didn't realize it before until I started spraying and using alcohol and whatever, whatever. But yeah, that's just for me. But now I just limit how much I use them and where I use them. Once I cut the lace, I go back in with my adhesive spray to make sure everything is down for the count. Now it's time for the baby hairs. Now y'all know I be practicing, but we're getting better. We're still getting better, okay? I used my little straightener to curl them up. Then I went in with my foam to mold them into place. Doing my edges lately has been such a task. I feel like they look so much better when I use edge control or it's mousse, but mousse just gives them that mobility in the long run, you know? Leave some comments down below. What kind of products do you use on your edges for your synthetic face? Let me know down below. The most important step though is to use a wax stick. I love the one from Care Care and I'll link that down below. I put that all over the part. Then I take my hot comb and just hot comb all around that part. And that's how you get it super duper flat. Like, can we just get into how bomb she looks? Cause she's giving um, bust down bombshell right now. Now, I don't recommend brushing her out. I did this for the video just to show you guys how big she can get. I would use a wide tooth comb at first because I will say once I got to day two, day three, she was a tangled mess. She was doing a lot, you know. Synthetic hair in general just doesn't like to be touched and I was doing a lot during this video. The waves just look so gorgeous once you do brush them out. I guess once the wig gets a little bit older, then you can go in with the brush. Once I finished brushing the hair out, I noticed that it was a bit staticky, so I went back in with my wax stick just at the top and brushed it in with a hard brush. For the final touches, I'm going in with my foundation again, and that is all she wrote, guys. 
literally took me no time at all to install this wig and I didn't have to do too much work. Like we love an easy install and especially one that looks like this. Here is a shot of the back. It's giving, I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving something, okay? Now for my honest thoughts on this hair, I did wear it for a few days and I have to say, it tangled up so bad after just those two days. Once I brushed it up, it would just tangle right back up and don't get me started on the back of my neck. <laughs> Baby girl, it's terrible, okay? But for the most part, I would certainly recommend getting this even if you only get to wear it once. Synthetic wigs are not meant to last you a lifetime and honestly, I think my biggest mistake was thinking that I could sleep in it. Like, rookie mistake. I don't know why I did that, but I did it and here we are with a wig that I cannot use again. And obviously, brushing it out Definitely avoid this if you're trying out this wig. Like I said, try to use a wide tooth comb so that way it's not as much agitation as a brush. But y'all cannot tell me this wig is not giving laid, bust down, middle part realness. Like get with it or get lost, okay? So that is it for this video. I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed with this wig. Again, this is style DPL-003 in the color 1B and y'all, it's giving, it's giving human honestly. Like, I don't know about you, but this is giving human to me, okay? I love this, like, she's so cute. She is so cute and she is giving the girls everything that they needed to get out of this, okay? She's giving. I'm like, period, okay? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos, because of course, like, why would you not want to see these bomb synthetic wigs, my fashion hauls, all that good stuff. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you like what you see, and leave some comments down below. Would you rock this wig? I'm gonna leave the link to everything down below, and make sure to share this with your friends, family, homegirls, homeboys. You know, the holidays is coming up, and this is giving very much a holiday wig, okay? This is giving bust down, 30 inch holiday wig, okay? Like, and like it's snagging, but like barely. Like y'all see, my hand's going through it for the most part. Like, okay, this one little snag. This one little snag. But on top of that, no shedding. Like this thing is not shedding, not a hair, not a there, not a nothing, okay? So we love her. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.